take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Finally, Verizon is moving all devices to its HD Voice LTE network starting January 1, 2021, which leaves the Verizon CDMA network available only until December 31, 2020. Support will no longer be provided for CDMA devices. Instead, customers will be encouraged to upgrade to newer technologies. Make your mark, take our lead. If you are using an already active Verizon SIM in your brand new OnePlus device, then ensure CDMA less feature is activated in your account. Please ensure to log in on www.verizonwireless.com, my Verizon, my device, activate or switch device and follow the instructions. Let's help you make your mark. Band 13. What LTE bands does Verizon use? Verizon Wireless was the first to arrive to the 4G LTE race and it has also built its nationwide network based on 700 MHz spectrum, but the primary band for Verizon is Band 13. Bands 2 and 4 are used to strengthen the signal in the densely populated urban areas. Make your mark, take our lead. Verizon will turn off its CDMA network and T-Mobile will turn off its 2G GSM network by the end of 2020. In 2021, AT&T and T-Mobile will keep their 3G networks in very low bandwidth modes mostly designed to support devices like electric meters and vending machines. Make your mark, take our lead. Your question, when will Verizon Wireless switch to GSM in the US? They have no reason to do so, ever. The CDMA carriers, Verizon, Sprint, etc., are migrating from their current CDMA protocol technologies of 2G 1X RTT and 3G EV due to 4G LTE without doing any 2G GSM or 3G UMTS deployments. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.